As you know, it's somewhat of a tradition here that on this final Sunday of the community celebration, a senior member of the class is selected to reflect on the gospel and the gospel readings and to share with all of us their particular experience here at Villanova. But the real idea of this is to have us reflect on what it is that, ex that we experience day in and day out and to allow a member of our community to share his or her own experience of the gospel message. And so tonight I am pleased to introduce a member of the class of 2014, Quint Dickman. Good evening. What will you miss most about Villanova? Basketball games, long dinners in the pit or the spit, late nights staying up talking with your roommates, perhaps, or maybe just the simple act of walking around campus and seeing so many familiar faces, feeling that sense of belonging that so many of us feel after four years of living, working, and growing to love this place. The list could go on and on, and no doubt it would be different for everyone here tonight. What did the disciples miss about Jesus? They must have missed him. Jesus died. He was their leader, their friend, confidant, advisor, hero, their loved one. Their friend died. Their friend died and no doubt his disciples, in the midst of trying to figure out all the other things happening, missed him. In today's gospel, the disciples were trying to figure out how to go on, trying to figure out how to live their lives and how to live out the messages this man taught them for years, afraid of even being associated with him after seeing his own fate, wandering down the road, wondering what to do, talking about what happened and what was to come. It may sound bold to equate graduating and moving on with Jesus' suffering death on the cross, and resurrection from the dead. But I'm going to anyway, because there's a bit of dying and rising to new life in these transitions in life. The Easter season is a time of celebrating, preceded with a time of fasting and mourning. Jesus was asked by God, his Father, to suffer and die for us. He obeyed and was raised from the dead, a joyous occasion and call for celebration, but yet leaving the disciples with so many unanswered questions, so many emotions, loose ends, and nothing to lean on but each other. So also, as we, the class of 2014, we, the senior class, move into our last two weeks at Villanova, we find ourselves in the midst of so many emotions, with so many questions begging for answers, and in the end, we must turn towards each other. Jesus' rising from the dead reminds us that while his death was very real, he lives on in us through our actions and through our love each and every day. The disciples learned quickly that they were changed by their intimate relationship with Jesus. And the mission they devoted the rest of their lives to required them to go out into the world rather than staying in hiding. Similarly, the end of our time at Villanova is fast approaching. We have been changed by this place. Changed in some ways that we already know and in some ways that we will figure out over the coming days, months, and even years. It is easy to get caught up in everything that we will miss about Villanova. And as I already said, there will be so much to be missed. What we have to do now is go out and share ourselves with the world, just as Jesus' disciples did after he died and was risen. When we arrived here as freshmen in 2010, we were all to some degree nervous, scared, and uncertain of what the future would hold. At this stage in our lives, we are now confident, comfortable, and quite certain that we have made ourselves a home here at Villanova. 
Now as we wander down the road after graduation, though many of us will walk different roads, we will walk together, just as the disciples walk to Emmaus together in today's gospel. Hopefully, along the way, we will recognize, again, just like the disciples, that as Jesus walked with them, he walks with us. As we walk, we will have many questions about how to proceed, but we will have each other just as the disciples did, and we will be charged with the challenge of supporting each other, even from a distance. I was talking the other day with a friend on the steps of the church, just outside the door there, about graduation and moving on from our college years here. As we stood there, people we knew kept walking past, smiling, waving as they passed by, some stopping to chat, others not. He observed that times like that were what he would miss most about this place. Everyone being together on campus, present in one another's lives, and just happy to be around, to be with one another, and to be in communion with one another on campus. Having the luxury of your friends living across the hall, down the street, or in the next dorm over is truly special about this experience. And it will take more effort after graduation to continue the relationships we have built here. But together, with communication and the way the world is moving today, there's no reason why they should get anything but stronger. As we go out into the world, just as Jesus' disciples did, we have a lot yet to learn, but also a lot to share. In the midst of trying to make sense of it all, it becomes critical that we not forget where we came from, everyone who got us where we are today, and that we always have each other, no matter what. The people to your left and to your right began four years ago as strangers, but somewhere along the line, they became family. The bonds we form here, like the bonds of the disciples, will serve us for a long time to come, and we will not be able to make sense of the road ahead without them. So as we move forward into these last days before graduation, let us focus on the people we have been so blessed to surround ourselves with during our four years here at Villanova. When we gather for Mass, we remember what Jesus did for us as we celebrate the Eucharist together as a community. Just as the disciples recognized Jesus in the breaking of the bread, we come here tonight on this Sunday for the last time as a university community to try and recognize Jesus and one another when we break bread and celebrate the Eucharist like he did. As we move on, maybe we should make it a promise to always remember our friends in our prayers. For even though we may miss being with our friends each day and the constant activity that defines Villanova, we each take a unique piece of this community with us down whichever road we walk after graduation. We must never forget the great people at Villanova who made us who we are today. And as we move into these last days before graduation, let us challenge ourselves to always be a light sharing our faith and the values we learned here at Villanova with the world.